morning. Good morning. So you probably expect me to go to school lesson again, right? I've had enough school for one month. So, from the gospel today, the most popular scripture is John 3 16. And you probably thought that was going with that one too. But I'm going with John 3 19 through 21. So I'm going to read that again. And this is the verdict that the light has come into the world. But people love darkness rather than the light because their deeds are evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come into the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do, but those who do what is true come to the light, so that they may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. So that got me thinking about um, maybe some fictional characters that don't like the light. Do y'all know any of those fictional characters that traditionally do not like the light? Vampires, Dracula, anybody else? What about um, werewolves? Maybe some trolls that live under bridges? Yeah, so there are reasons those characters don't like the light. It's because they're doing things that might not be right or true or what God would seem worthy. And that got me to thinking that maybe sometimes we're not in the light either. Maybe some of us are in the darkness. Maybe it's just one time, I don't know I should have done that. Um, and maybe we want to hide that from God or even from our parents or sometimes from ourselves. Um, it, it might not be a deed. It, maybe you're, you're a lonely and you're hanging out camp by yourself. Or maybe you've gotten in a rut of doing lots of good deeds in the dark. And this made me think, um, why, why would we be hiding from God? So about a year ago, actually about exactly a year ago, was the last time that our children could come up and join me at the bench. One year ago. And the scripture that day was about the woman at the well. And we talked about how the woman wasn't supposed to be there in the middle of the day. And she wasn't supposed to be by herself. And she wasn't supposed to be talking to a man named Jesus. But she was because Jesus found her in her darkness at that well. So in this past year, maybe you found yourself somewhere that you didn't think you'd be. Maybe it was home alone in isolation or quarantine. Uh, maybe it was somewhere without a mask you weren't supposed to be. Lots of places we could have been. But Jesus found the woman at the well. And Jesus is available to all those characters that do not like the light. Even the werewolves and the vampires and the Draculas and the trolls. And he's available to us even when we are in the dark too. So wherever you are, whether it's in the dark or the light, know that God is available. All you have to do is two things. We have to believe in Jesus and accept him. We have to ask for forgiveness of our sins and repent and stop doing those sins. And then share the love of Jesus with others. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, keep us from the darkness. But when we are there, please find us and bring us to the light. In your name we pray. Amen.